fell. You're Brian Goodwin. Hello everyone, my name is ASDF, welcome back to Firewatch, and man, on the last one, there is crazy government controlled mystery stuff afoot. We got our whole board slapped together to find out what is happening in this area with the Wapiti Station and the fires. And before anything starts, I did want to read these reports that I didn't feel like we had time uh, to read before, but the one on Delilah... Observational traits, reliant, reliable, observant, charismatic, selfish, skewed, skewed perception of personal history. Um, ob observe facts, never marry, no kids, rarely hikes or leaves immediate surroundings, multiple lovers despite long tie partner, Javier, and not susceptible to manipulation, e.g. is the supervisor. And then the report on us, Henry. Um, 10 week status review, Observational traits, guilt-ridden, susceptible to influence, unsure of self, and reliable. True. Yeah. Um, subject has fully engaged supervisor, um, yet to be, trust yet to be scientifically proven, all signs point toward full D cooperation. Subject may be aware of tests, suggests we disengage if subject decides to leave post, and susceptible to manipulation level 9. So, wave receiver is receiver beeping. just picked something up. Like a signal? It's going beep beep. Yeah, what could yeah. it be? I don't know. You gotta find out. Alright, I'm on my way now. Okay. You know I'm gonna leave I my tower light up? on so I can see it. Uh, no. A fifth of Major Bueno tequila from the creek. I was gonna Are say a drunk? bottle of tequila. No! I am getting drunk! Great! You know what? Good plan. Good plan. She can't do anything to help us, I'm a good so planner. maybe we need a drunk person who thinks outside my of the box is, on a radio. I could stay up all night, worried I'm gonna lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. My thinking is I'm gonna follow this wave receiver. Ooh, I like it when you think. Ay ay ay. I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. Radio off? I don't want to turn my radio off, but... Okay, what is this way? Because we're just kind of like looking out into nothing. Okay, let's go around. Maybe it's under the lake. And I'm going away from it, but I think that... Boy, it's hard to see. I wish I could sleep till tomorrow. I mean, what is right here? Which way am I facing? I'm facing southwest. So I'm facing towards Cottonwood Creek. So I guess we'll head down towards that way. It's north, it's immediately north of where we're at now. It's like in that medicine wheel area. Okay, let's go around. Let's 
go around and come up through the south side of the medicine wheel. Still hearing these weird noises too. I keep hearing the trees creaking. But it's not like all the trees creak. Like when the wind blows, you hear all the trees rustle, right? This time, not really hearing all the trees rustle. Okay, it's still north of us. In case you really wanted to see it, here you go. What even is it? We don't really know what this does though. We know it's some kind of signal receiver, tracker thing. But we don't know exactly what it does. I think the way north is this way, right? Yeah, gotta go around here. Oh, I was like, man, I wish I had a flashlight. We do have a flashlight. What do you know? Up there, how do we get up there? There's no way up there. I mean, even on the map, we've gone around this big thing. Maybe it's that green thing over there? Right by the lookout that we probably could have seen from our lookout? Maybe it's right next to our lookout tower and I just like did a big goofball thing and went all the way around. No, nah, it's up in here. This is it. Boom! Hit in the head. Oh, it's a backpack. Shit! What? Ah. Okay, somebody put an alarm on this backpack. Hmm. Cave. Oh, cave 452. We know where that is. See, I, I found some sort of supply bag, well, light she's camping gear, now. some clothes, you know, basics, but it was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? Yeah, I'm fine. But there's there's also a set of keys here. Now, I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, Cave 452. Is that the one in the canyon? Yeah, it is. Oh, baby. <sighs> Who the hell took them? And what the hell is in that cave? Okay, okay, let's just think. Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila in her belly. Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire has them spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel mm. like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Yeah. Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. Um, I'm not in my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. And it's not oh. you. Is not me. Oh my god, go. I'm oh. Going. Oh, wait, maybe I shouldn't go back to my lookout tower. Maybe I, maybe I shouldn't go back there. I'm so close to it, though. There's no way he heard me and ran down the stairs, right? Because we were so close, we would have heard him running. So he's got to still be up there. I accidentally went straight back home to my tower. He's gone now. What did he take? I don't see anyone up here. He was just there. There's a Walkman here. us talking down at the site. It sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. Mm. No. We are screwed. No! D, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. Yeah, don't freak out. Oh my god, what the f*** is happening, Henry? <laughs> don't freak out. 
It's fine, maybe, kind of, sort of. We might be accused of arson. And the government might be the ones behind it. going to be okay. We haven't done anything wrong. Someone claiming to be Henry in Two Forks called a lookout in another sector early this morning and said that I knew what caused the Wapiti Meadow fire. Oh, no. So, I this just got up the morning that lookout who's wondering what I know, or that I'm an arsonist, or that I'm losing it. They're gaslighting Furthermore, us. Furthermore, I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night, so someone has evidence to back it up. We need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. I'm going down there now. We don't have a lot of time left out here, and if hey, we don't I, find yep. some answers, when they lift us out of here, it's going to be in handcuffs. We just, we have to stick together, okay? Keep our story straight. From the first day with those girls to the person breaking in on our conversation, everything. We just, we got to be honest and consistent. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I suppose you're right. Just, just tell the truth. And if we're both saying it, then like what could what could go wrong? I mean the, the government's behind it, so they could just bury us in a cover up, but still, I mean I think it's better to be honest. The truth will go out there. I think the truth wins in the end. It doesn't always win in the middle, which is a bummer. But in the end, hey, I think it always wins. You You didn't actually make that call, right? To, to the other lookout. It just stuck in my craw. I, I let myself imagine how I would be if you'd been lying to me. But now that I asked, I kind of just wish I hadn't. Of course I didn't. No way. They're just, they're trying to pit us against each other. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That's not going to happen, though. Thanks, Henry. Yeah. Man. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's find out what's in here. Just the problem bear just and smalls us. Oh, let's go. He shoved the gate and it worked this time. Just, what the hell? And it closed behind me. Nice. A long, steep drop. Loose rock. Use Pulaski? Oh, is that the... okay. The axe on one side, the pickaxe on the other. The ideal tool for Minecraft. <laughs> I clicked squeeze through and he was like, just gonna run. Straight into the wall, we're running. We're running, and we're running. I was like, nah, uh, you should be shimmying, not, not running. <laughs> Whoa, look at that deep, dark tunnel. It's freezing in here. Wow, hang on, I wanna, I wanna see down there. Oh, man. Probably don't have any uh, radio service down here. Oh yeah, I would, we're pretty close to the surface. Oh no. That's, that's somebody's shoe. Somebody fell down there in the cave. Oh, maybe the girls? I don't know what kind of shoes they wear because last time I saw them, they weren't wearing any shoes. It lets out here? Uh, okay. Trapped in cave? Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus! So, so you didn't find anything? No. no th there's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. <sighs> I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm going to hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous. 
Um, maybe not finding out what's happening is dangerous as well. What is this? Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Really? Yeah, he built himself a real castle. Okay, backpack retrieval plan. My rope and our camera. Oh, maybe there's something on the camera already. Because I don't think we had all of the available stuff. I don't, I don't need this thing. I found an old school folder. Brian was a hell of a doodler. Si science homework? Um, Brian was doing a science fair project about bouncing radio waves off of a meteor shower. That's cool. Left his homework? Yeah. He must have been pretty smart, huh? Yeah, sharper than a lot of the grown up knuckleheads I'm used to, yeah. <laughs> Smarter than me? What, you're saying I'm one of those knuckleheads, is that it? I wasn't, but, um, now that I think about it. Because I know lots of stuff. Oh, please, drown me in your surplus of knowledge. I've been waiting all these years for a man as wise as you to take this job. Well, that wait's over, sweetheart. Uh, call me sweetheart again, yeah, and you'll use that big sexy brain of yours to fill out your unemployment paperwork. Yeah, that's kind of... Sorry, boss. He was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. It's a little weird that he just leaves so much of his stuff out here. Well, maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. I... Uh, they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... <sighs> I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in two forks. I lied, and just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever life Ned was going to bring him back to. Not that it ended up mattering. There's some grade-A dork contraband here. You found his pocket protector? I found a, uh, I guess, a data sheet for one Gladius Silva, half-elf, armor seven. Classic wizards and wyverns. He'd hide out here to read comics. The black band, his grief is his enemy's sorrow. Everyone this guy loves gets killed, so he... Honors them with a black armband, which gives him superpowers. Well, that's... dark. He made the place pretty comfy, too. That's an achievement. Yeah, at the expense of what are probably stolen pillows. That little... That's where all my pillows went to. He also stole his dad's climbing equipment. His anchors. That's convenient. Yeah, it is. I think he was going to hide them in a cash box or something and never got around to it. I mean, he left a note for a ranger to find them and, and send them back to him in Nebraska. Nice. Because he hated climbing? Yeah. I mean, it sounds like Ned was pushing him, and pretending to lose his anchors was the easiest way to put a stop to it. Mm. <laughs> I hope it worked. God, what an... Yeah. Man, that is the sort of thing that would have caused me to catch a beating growing up. Yeah, well, I wouldn't put it past old Ned. There's a ham radio schematic here, something Brian was working on. Yeah, uh, I think that was the one thing Ned did hmm. do with him. You know, tinkering on stuff like that. That's cool. I'm gonna take the pitons. Kinda rusty. There's also a postcard here from Brian to, I guess, his neighbor. What's it say? that he's with his dad and sorry he can't mow his lawn this summer. Oh, gosh. And also he was that's worried cute. his dad didn't know when school started. I'd say that's a lucky break if I were him. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Ned didn't really seem like a, you know, with it dad. Hmm. Bunch of rocks stacked up. He made a wall and a perimeter. Oh, God. Yeah, really. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. You know, maybe he made it because he was afraid of them. Uh, whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap, I get... I get sick to my stomach. Yeah. Mm. Uh, sorry. Oh. Yeah, that's kind of sad. But also, like, super cool. 
And he like built a whole fort. I always wanted to build a whole fort when I was a kid. Yeah, just bash that thing in there. That that'll hold. It's fine. It's fine. I mean, I know they're designed for that, but also, oh, there's so much better climbing gear now than that. What do you think is in there? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, know really. I know there was a shoe. Out. What do you think? Whatever it is, they don't want you telling anyone about. They closed the door when they could have just bashed your head in with a rock or chopped you up with a. Are you serious with you the gotta go right now? North, uh, right? A hatchet. Or God, are you sure you want to go back west? in there? Honestly, I just, I just want to know. Yeah. I want to know what is worth doing everything that's been done to us. Yeah, me too. And not going to jail would be a nice kicker. Yeah, I keep on thinking that, Delilah. I would not like to go to jail, thank you very much. So, where do we go back into the cave, then? Um... Maybe Hawk's Rest? No. I guess we go south down the trail and go back into the cave entrance. Because we should still have the key. I mean, I didn't leave it in there, hopefully. If Henry oh, is a smart uh, cookie, also, I did not leave the cave open. Up. Looks like you didn't kill him. Nobody did. They took some farmer's tractor for a joyride down in Riverton and uh, of course landed in jail. Did. For what? I wonder if they know anything. If there's some way to ask them about whatever happened at their camp. I think we'd be smart to let sleeping dogs lie. Yeah. You're probably right. Yeah, maybe don't bring that back up. Besides, people probably aren't super prone to believing girls about some weird creepy guy that destroyed their radio when they took a joyride with a farmer's tractor or whatever and get arrested and... Like, they're clearly... They've got some, uh... Some issues that need resolving. Wasn't I just in... Oh, I was like, where's the gate? Okay, yeah, good thing I kept the key. Okay, I got the key back. You gonna close it on me again? Okay, now we can... I wonder if we can get the shoe from the other side. Wow, he jammed it in there so far. I forget how amazingly strong Henry is in this game. It's better not come out. That thing was jammed in so far. Nope. Whoop. Oop, oop, oop. Oop, I got no, no. I'm gonna get a copyright strike for that. <laughs> Wasn't that one of the first videos to reach like a billion views on YouTube or something? That was a crazy, like, week that that was insanely popular. Maybe a month? Okay, we can climb back up this one. What else is around here? in this deep dark cave. We can go on the long drop down. There's another way to go here, so we can still get back up. We can get back up from these as well. Oh, it's so tense. Oh, there he is. Someone's down there. Gotta be him, though. <sighs> That's super sad. Your stuff gave out. Oh, you poor kid. Dang. 
And no one knew he was in the cave. Man, no wonder Ned left. He didn't leave with Brian. He left because he couldn't find his son's body. Kid must have climbed in from the backside or something. Oh no, he went in from the front. He was rappelling back down. That's a way out. I feel like I should have gone back, but now I'm pressing on to get to the other end of the cave. For the sake of the story, I think if it was real life, I would see that and I would go climb my way back out. Man, the chances of climbing gear failing like that is so low. Not zero, but it is low. It's just so rare that climbing gear fails. Am I going the right way? Yeah, okay. We're back at the entrance. Okay, I better not get attacked in this cave now. Some guy's gonna come up from the entrance and just bash my face in. I'm gonna end up in the cave. Okay, report it. Report it. Hey, D. There you are. I've been worrying my ass off. You need to call search and rescue. Um, what? There's a body in the cave. It's Brian Goodwin. Mm. Gotta be kidding me. How does that... What? I don't... How? Climbing, I think, or made to look like a climbing accident. Mm-hmm. I, I think that's just what it was. I mean, he was probably exploring the cave and, and maybe his rope gave out. But whoever locked me in there probably didn't even know about him. I'm sorry, Delilah. I'm yeah, so sorry. Console her. She really liked me. He'd be Brian. alive if I had told someone he was out here. I don't know where he'd be, but I can assure you it would not be rotting at the bottom of that cave. I... There's, there's, there's nothing to say. The hike back. I think we're leaving tomorrow anyway. Man. Oh, feeling the guilt of lying and then not knowing what's going on. We still don't know what's going on with the whole government thing though. I'm just gonna grab my bottle of whiskey. Should probably take the cassette tape too. Best not leave that around, right? You see that plane? Maybe I'll take uh, that no, too. I was just tracking busy device. Up. Well, there's gonna be a lot more. The service says this thing is two percent contained. Well, is this the flapjack 2%. fire or the site oh, fire yeah. or? Put on my wedding ring. The two fires merged into one unmitigated disaster. They're renaming it after my lookout. You about packed up? Shouldn't we talk for a sec? You know about things. I'm gonna keep my photo with Julia. About what? Yeah, about who was we surveilling still don't know us. who was listening to us. Who was following me around? Who made that tape? Yeah, all we have is the body of a dead boy who did nothing wrong. But maybe we can still find these people. Look, I think whoever is out there caused the site fire to cover their tracks, and I'm almost certain that when I get off Taking the helicopter, I'm going jam. to be led into a room and made to listen to a tape of me saying we started it. And we don't know. What can I do? Oh. Well, there's something for you to do. Holy. Holy crap. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. Things we don't again. know what it is. It could be nothing. Yeah, it could also be whoever was listening to us. Who, whoever made the tape. Okay. Yeah, um... Look, you should pack up everything you need in case we get the call and you can't come back. Alright, look. If, if something happens... I'll remember you. Yeah. I was hoping you'd have a backup plan or something. Yeah, um, okay, I'm probably gonna move to Canada. Ontario, maybe. Mm. No, I meant if something happens to me. Right, if you don't find out who made the tape and I have to hit the road. Forget it. Be safe, Henry. It's 
so smoky. The granola bar. Nothing looks familiar because this fire is What's so your bad. I think I'm getting close. All right. Well, I just got word that they are coming to get us. My place. You sound worried. No, it's it's just. Brian. I'll coordinate with the evac team and let you know when to head towards the tram. It's north, far, past where you found that cut back in May. There's an emergency tram out there that will let you hike to the rendezvous point at my lookout. Okay. It's fine, I have a jar of jam, I'll be okay. We are going back down to the lake. Near the lake. Set tape for Henry. Someone left a rope for me to climb up. I'm down near the lake. How do you know it's for you? There's a tracking collar tied to it. Someone was leading me here. And there's another tape. Oh, oh my god, Henry. Should I take the tape? Oh, rope's gone. Rope's back. Rope's gone. Yeah. Where's my jam? Not my jam. A lot of headaches. Now I gotta go stake out a site that's as fit for living as the one you're about to find. Oh, I lost You'll my get jam. It when you, see it. you can't blame me for keeping an eye on you. Not after bumping into you back in May. Oh, it's doing that thing Down again. Cave for sake. I've been up here for three years. I kept it cozy. Winters are harsh as hell and. Ran out of books, but I got that antenna rigged up, and Delilah, she's a she's a record you don't gotta flip. <laughs> I kind of get why Brian took to her. Oh, this is from Ned. About a week ago, I stopped worrying oh, Ned's about you finding stayed. anything out. And that's right when everything went to the house with you oh. too. guys don't know anything about having kids. All right, nobody knows nothing. It ain't Andy and Opie walking down the lake to fish every afternoon. It ain't Mayberry. But you gotta know I didn't kill him. All right, we were climbing. I was teaching him. Brian was uneducated in the way to do anything. He just, he just didn't sink his anchor the right way. No. You know, I thought about going back, having to answer questions and having to get him put in the ground and I didn't see the point. Don't come looking for me. Sorry about your wife. No way. We found the surveillance operation. Okay, what does that mean? What is it? It was Ned Goodwin. He was the one listening to us. Just him. Ned Goodwin? He made the tape? Yeah. He's gone. He's been deeper into the Shoshone. He doesn't want anyone to know he's out here. The Because he killed Brian. Because he killed his son. He's got a, a, a survival bunker with radios and everything. He made it all up. Y you need to get back here. They say the helicopters are making rounds. Okay. He... God... What? Nothing, just some of Brian's stuff. Brian was a nice looking kid. Yeah. He held on to some of Brian's things, his wizards and wyverns. Yeah, well, I'm sure he found it riveting. Man, can you imagine 
you know, as a, as a parent, your kid's not gonna like everything they have to do, but so you, you kind of have to push them to to try things that maybe they don't want to. In this case, like climbing, but pushing your kid too hard, and then your kid does it wrong, and then dies because of it, and you just run away because of the guilt. He wrote down everything he did to us, and everything oh, he did man. every day. He was scared. Erase evidence. Goodwin was the one who wrote the reports Oops. I found at the site. So... I don't know. This is kind of funky. I don't even think that typewriter is functional. He's been stealing lookout supplies. You should see some of the stuff he was working on. I guess he had a lot of time on his hands. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. I don't know what you want me to say. He's got some We're in the middle radios, of a fire that is at 22,000 acres and growing fast. A whole bunch of going to burn all of this up. Well, take a picture if you're so keen to remember it. I think you're I not. I don't know. This boombox looks familiar. Oh, he pulled it out of the From lake. The girls. Yeah. He got the I team magazines too. The lake. Well, he must have fished it out. That means he was watch Ew. that means he was watching. Sleeping bag from the teens campsite. He's kinda creepy. I mean, there's something obviously wrong with him, because of all this, like his son died and he was like, hmm, better that he just stays in the cave forever. Instead of uh, you know, reporting it. He's got a radio base station up here. He was listening to us on that. He had quite the view. Oh boy, there's a whole bunch of stuff here. All the radio law. I'm keeping it all. There's evidence. I don't care that the fire is raging on. I'll have enough time to get out. Actually, I should have a better sense of urgency. I just don't want to miss anything. Oh, man. Okay, well, that was the, the hatch. Now I gotta head north, right? So... Um... Where can I get to from here? Where even am I? Oh, it's a bunker. Ned Goodwin's bunker. Okay, I gotta head south and then north. Oh, no, I have to go... Okay. I see the evac point. So I gotta go... Um, south and then around. Okay, I gotta, I gotta get out of here fast. Man, this is kind of what it looks like being in such thick smoke near a fire. I've been evacuated a couple times from having fires near where I was living. So. Um, yeah, when you're in the thick of the smoke and everything, it just... It's orange. Everything's orange. It looks like the yellow sulfur kind of thing, and it just nope. burns your lungs. So, can I get down, please? Thank you. Okay, I gotta go down towards the lake. Uh, west. And then I'll go up the canyon creek. And then I'll climb up. I know I should be relieved. Relieved that there's no evidence of us starting that fire. Relieved that we're not crazy. That there wasn't some conspiracy. But I'm not. It was a sweet kid. With a father who hid out here like a coward after dumping him in a hole. Yeah. He wasn't a good dad. He just... He wasn't a good dad. What? Sorry. God, it would have been so 
easy to tell the truth and have him sent home. I can't stop thinking about it. It'll be okay. You'll let it go, and it'll be okay. It'll haunt you for a while, but eventually you'll look back and you'll be far enough away to forgive yourself. Justify to myself, maybe. Yeah, well, that's better than nothing. And he'll still be down there in that cave. Because if I say anything, they're gonna ask me about Ned. <laughs> D? Is that a helicopter? Yeah, hold on. Hey! No, there's one more. Yes, here, yeah. Yeah, he's coming. Okay, uh, one second. Hey, they're here, but they're making rounds. They'll come back. Um, I think I'm gonna go with them. Yeah, yeah, go. It's uh, better to get out. They'll yeah, come back. That's a, that's a good idea. Yeah? I mean, it's dangerous here, and, and if anything were to happen, then that would be on me, so. Sure that's okay? Yeah, I mean I'll get out, no problem. I said it was. Alright, um, I should go. Have a safe flight. Alright, have a safe hike. Bye, Delilah. See you later, alligator. <sighs> Boy, I hope <sighs> I get out of here. But yeah, I, I telling them to wait. If they're sending another one or if they're coming back. I don't know. If if I die in the fire, I'm definitely going to play through it again and get a better ending than this. But I'm glad that we got to get some closure in what happened to Ned and Brian. That's so sad. Okay, we're really close. Right? We just got to go... Yeah, we just got to go up this way. So, that's fine. We're close. Curves around northwest, I think. Uh oh. Music starting. Come on. And my eyes are starting to water just from looking through the smoke. It just, oh, it stings. I just remember being in air. Not this bad, but it was similar. Okay, I gotta go around and north and look for those. Climb up here. If I didn't put these ropes down, I don't know if I could have gotten out. I would have come up here and had to go all the way back around. And there were there were a couple spots where there was like there was a tree that I could knock down that I didn't end up um cuz I didn't have the axe at that point, but there were a couple more I think shortcuts that we could have found to explore the area. Man. Well, wow, Henry's finally starting to breathe hard. All it takes is standing directly next to a massive wildfire with smoke inhalation. Okay, here we go. Here's the escape. And hiking up steep hills. This dude is a natural born athlete. Yeah, there's Delilah's tower. Okay, here's the lift. I'm at the evac spot near the ravine. Delilah, are you there? Delilah? Nope. Oh man, would you guys get in this? 
I I would. I'd have fun. But oh, oh, that's a that's a rickety feeling ravine over there. Oh, there's the Firewatch logo. I don't have a map anymore. Well, we didn't get to meet Delilah face to face. All right, no, it's too personal to go through someone's outhouse. No thanks. Oh, she had cooler stairs than I did. That's amazing. And a doormat? I don't think I had a doormat. Well, we can't tell how good her view was. But... Well, here's Delilah's tower. Yeah, thousand and one crosswords. Yep. Forrest Burns can dig it. Can you dig it? There's the radio headset. Big old radio. Hello? Is anybody there? White Schwartz with a broken nose and tired yeah, eyes. Me. With the bear in the I'm tower. I'm back in the staging area near the trailhead. I think I see your truck. Red, Colorado plates. Yeah. It's a piece of... Yeah, it is. Well, yeah. I think there might be a raccoon living in it. No, that's just me. Make sure nest. he's comfy, I guess. Hey, it shouldn't take long for the helicopter to reach you. Okay. There's a debrief in a situation like this. Lots of questions. Ugh. So, taking stock, we found out an old lookout killed his only son and decided to become a lonely hermit. Yes. And we prevented one fire? Basically started another. Okay, so that's a wash. I mean, that wasn't us, though. Oh, I'll have to figure out what I'm doing every summer from now on that... Forrest Burns isn't looks pretty this? evil there. You're looks like he's back. hiding the bodies. No. Forrest Burns yeah, can dig a to... grave for all the I don't know. kills he's racked up. Yeah, me neither. Oh, right. I We're being don't know what's next. Tell you what. Why don't you choose for me, and I'll choose for you. <laughs> All right, sure. Um, maybe... Librarian. Become a crossword editor. Well, you could Times. always go take over the crossword at the New York Times. Oh, yeah, I could probably fall right into that. Yeah. New York, big city. Couldn't be further from here. It's true. I've never been. Well, when I end she up should out there... She should track down Javier. Yeah. So, um, what about me? I think you should go to Julia. And then you can figure it out. Maybe put that typewriter to good use. Give me a sexy accent or something if you write about this. I, um... Yeah. You gotta go see her. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Henry, I... Look, you came out to put your memories behind you, and they're still right there in front of you. You're right. I mean, I think you're right. Good. When I get back, maybe I could, um... We shouldn't focus on this summer. Next year, we'll roll around, and then the year after that, and then it's just a... Uh, I don't know. My Aunt Judy called it a pause in the hallway of time. Did your Aunt Judy smoke a lot of pot? Yeah. We'll barrel well, a day. You should try to take her advice, too. Yeah, we'll see. There's the helicopter. They'll land back where you hiked up. Okay, good. Good luck, Henry. I'll see you when I see you. Yeah, okay. Sounds well, we're good. getting evac to the same spot. Bye, Hank. It's Henry. It's Henry. Oh, what a panoramic picture. Oh, I should go. I, sh I should definitely go and not be taking pictures, but uh, here I am taking pictures. Is that everything? You want your slippers? She has firewood in her fire bucket. That, that is not the point. I'm just gonna use the outhouse. I'll be no more than five minutes. Really gotta go. 
having gone since I started investigating the whole conspiracy thing that was going on this morning. There's a lot of opportunities in that game to like build a relationship with Delilah. There's so many openings for that. And then there's so many openings for like, no, I'm gonna go do my own thing or I'm gonna go back to Colorado or do stuff like that. Man, what a hard situation to be in. And just kind of exploring, exploring everything with what's going on mentally and psychologically. And like some people escape and some people make up different histories than the ones that they actually have and some people just deal with it in a different totally different way oh if i had taken more pictures i would have seen them show up here that's fun oh, it's so sad what happened Brian. oh i'm really happy with how that one turned out though that sunset picture when I was eating my sandwich. So good. Like little clouds, the evidence pictures. So you see, I love you so much. But I don't want to watch it leave. Those terrible teenage girls that just messed up all of the whole area. Huge mess they made. Pretty small credit scene too. They're already at special thanks. So the Widowmaker. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that must have been. Oh, that was me. That's Henry. Oh, he does have a big nose. Wow, that's funny. No, steely eyes for sure. That's so funny. One of them must have been taken from inside the bag. Oh, and then they're Brian's pictures. The dinosaur eating the tower. His dad. Wow, you gotta be real confident to take a selfie on a disposable camera. That's that's something else. Then I see you walk away, see you walk away from me. They must have rigged up something. I don't know if they have timers on them, so they must have rigged up something for that picture. Brian's like, I got this. I'll just rig up a little tiny engine thing that'll uh, it, it'll drop a rock onto the click button in five seconds. Just give me a minute. Wow, that does it for Firewatch. What a powerful story. But, you know, thanks for joining me on the journey. I, I know it's an older game, but I really, really wanted to play through it for a long time. And I knew that I wanted to play through it when I had forgotten most of what goes on. So, I think six years is enough time. What do you think? Well, uh, that does it for today. So, if you would consider liking and subscribing, I'd definitely appreciate it. One or two clicks for you. It really helps me out a ton. Uh, comment below what you want to see me play in the future, because, you know, I love playing games. I, apparently you love watching games, and so we can make something happen. And as always, hopefully you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.